Hello, everybody. This is a DaVinci Resolve, Daily DaVinci, DaVinci Resolve. It's just a project. I was recently asked about something. And I thought, well, I'll explain it the way that I think I know how to explain it. So what I've done is over here in the edit page is I've grabbed one, two, three, four, five, six different uh, stills and two videos. And then I'm, I'm thinking about adding one more, but I can work with this. So I'm going to close the media pool right up here. And then I am going to open this up in the fusion tab by clicking the fusion tab. Or you can right click open in the fusion page. It's the same difference. <coughs> Excuse me, I knew I couldn't get to the thing. So we're going to put an image. This is a dead laptop. This actually did not work. And I'm going to um, put an image on there. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do a... Naturally, I haven't sneezed all day and now I start sneezing. So I'm going to do a shift space and bring up my menu and I'm going to put in here a tracker and I want the planar tracker right here sorry about that I had to sneeze again so I'm going to add the planar tracker and I'm just going to click the word add and because I'm connected to my media it can it puts it in the pipeline or the the flow chart whatever you want to call it so now I'm going to come in here to the planar tracker and I'm going to change the operation mode from tracking to corner pin I have no idea how this is going to turn out because I keep sneezing so I keep trying to get to the pause button so I'm going to put my corner pins I'm going to put one here I'm going to put one here I'm going to put one down here and I'm going to put this one up here in the four corners ta-da four corners just what it says four corners so this one needs to be moved up a little bit I think to about right there maybe about right there move this one down a little bit to right there yeah that looks pretty good although it looks a little off here Good enough. All right, so there we've got, we've said, I want to put an image in here. I want to put something in there. So I'm going to go to the media pool now, and I'm going to grab the video of Mrs. K cooking, and I'm going to put it right here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the output, and I'm going to put it in the middle here, and let DaVinci tell me where it's going to go. And there it is. So I've taken I've taken a laptop. I'm gonna put a video in there. I'll go back to here. And then if I hit play, you can see the video plays. Now I haven't figured out how to bring the audio in yet, but that's not a big deal. But I think I can do that if it's a if it's that important to do. So that's that one. That was pretty simple. Now, the other thing I want to do is I don't like how this has got all this stuff in it. So I'm going to go ahead and crop the left a little bit. And we're going to crop it down to about right in there. And I'm going to crop the right. And we're going to bring it down to about right in there. And we're going to bring the top down just a little bit to about right there. And that looks pretty good. I'm okay with that. That looks all right. So now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to open up the media pool and I'll bring in my next set of pictures, which is right here. I'm going to hover this over there and we're going to repeat the same thing. We're going to put an image here and then a video here or a video and image. We'll see. So we're going to go there. I'm going to close the media pool. I'm going to open it in Fusion and we got what we want. 
right there so we're cool it's the same process we're gonna click on this playing our tracker it's already there because that's what's in the history and it's there so now this let's do uh let's do the first one let's put the let's put an image on here let's replace that image with another image let's go corner pin and then we're just going to throw the four corners in here where it goes right here and because there's no movement i don't have to track anything so there's that that's tracked out or not tracked out that's pinned out so i'm going to go ahead and let's just see what the video looks like first and we're just going to plug it in let it do its thing it looks all right and if i hit play it'll play pretty cool now let's go work on the second half of this so first things first let's decide what we want i'm going to bring the turtle down and if i plug the turtle in right now then it's going to look like that because it's just not not going to work so i'm going to unplug the turtle that looks good i'm happy with that i'm going to bring us down here put my meteor right there and now i'm going to go back over to the tracker and i'm going to add a corner pin and it brings up the green box and you can see that and i don't need that so now all i got to do is put my corner pins where i want them and i suspect i'm going to have an issue with this in just a second yes the glass is broken we're aware of it and there we go so now i'm going to take my second media and plug it in and let it determine where to go and just like that the magic of video editing we now have a laptop that had nothing on it. We have Mrs. K's video cooking. And it's only going to be 15 seconds of the video because the laptop picture is only 15 seconds. So it can only be 15 seconds. It can't go on and on and on and on. And then it's going to go over to here. And there we go. Pretty sweet. Really, really pretty cool. I was really happy to have been asked this question. And more importantly, I was really happy that I actually know how this is done. And I've been meaning to do this for a while anyway, as far as kind of demonstrating it. So let's go one step farther. We've used the laptop, we've used this, and we've used that. Let's bring this one down over here and close the media pool. And let's open this up in Fusion and we will attempt the same thing so i got one two three four things that i want to cover up maybe so here space shift we're still going to do a planar tracker we're going to add the planar tracker we're going to go in and change it from the operation mode from track to corner pin and we are going to add the corner pin. Now this one's going to be fun because I don't really have the four corners to work with. And this is, this is not practiced or rehearsed or anything. So I have no idea how it's going to turn out. My anticipation is I hope that it turns out all right. So now I'm going to go to the media pool. I'm going to grab this cute little koala and bring him down. I'm going to attach it, let it do its thing, and there it is. So there's one. And then I'm just going to repeat the process. All I'm going to do is go back into here. I'm going to add the corner pin. And then I'm going to, for now, close that. I don't need it. Bring this down here. And I'll take this corner pin right here. And this corner pin right here. And this corner pin right there. And that corner pin right there kind of clean this up a little bit now the problem is i need to have 
something to put in it in in there where it's at so I'll go back to the media yeah we've used the turtle let's use the turtle again no big deal we'll just put him right here and we will plug him in and there's the turtle or I don't want the turtle necessarily so I'm going to backspace there to get rid of the turtle I'm going to go open up my media but you know what I'm going to do I'm going to go over here and I'm going to open up the master bin and I'm going to go look at photos and I got all these photos I want to use so let's use this one this will probably look horrible only because I'm pretty sure it's a horrible picture oh, it looks pretty good I'm going to go with that and then we got two more so I'm going to click back on the tracker actually you know what i'm going to do before i do that i am going to pick out two more people actually i'm going to pick out i gonna pick on myself and i'm going to go um hmm eeny meeny miny let's bring in jeff ryman and that way i got two there so now i can close this and i don't have to reopen it go back to the corner of the planar tracker add another one and we're going to put this one here, in here, right there, right there. And while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and add one more. And you'll see why I did that here in a second, if this works. And again, I don't have the true corner, so i got to be real careful not to get into that other screen. And then this will be interesting because I had the Yeti over there on that side at that time. So now I got everything that I want. We're going to bring this one up here. And we're going to bring this one down here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to plug them in and plug it in. And just like that, through the magic of video editing, we took a laptop added a video we took a still two still pictures added a video and a still picture we took my monitors and added basically three still pictures or four still pictures now i could actually do this i could take this and move this out and then uh, i am curious oh yeah i don't think you can hear the video though the audio so I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is I'm going to close this because I need to get into this. And I'm going to bring this picture down here and I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to reduce it a little bit. Actually, I'm not. I did that wrong. I'm going to do it like that. And then I'm going to do, 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 think through this a minute. Maybe do the same thing here. And then this one's pretty self-explanatory, so I think I'll leave that as is. So now when I play this, when I scrub through this or play it, we have dead video, nothing there, not been changed, not been cropped or anything. And then that 15 seconds is way too long, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shrink that down or, or less than that. And then it goes into there. And while that's playing, I'm gonna bring this down. And before I do that, I'm going to change the duration from 15 so it's 12 seconds. We're going to make it five seconds in length. There we go. Now, this one, I'm going to stop. Now, you're asking yourselves, oh, what's going on? Well, what's going on is with this being on top, that's going to show what's in there. So that's fine. So now I'm going to move this over here. And I'm going to move this over here. And I'm going to change this clip duration to five seconds as well. I don't need it to be super long. I'm going to drop it down there. I'm going to drop this down there. I'll put this one over here. And then I think this one. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing with that one because it doesn't explain what I'm doing. And I need to explain what I'm doing. I'm going to do that. Drop it down. We're going to change the duration. You can control D, by the way. Control D, same thing. I want it five seconds. There we go. Change. Put it right there. 
put it right there close the media pool go back to the beginning hit play and we'll see what happens there we go and I could reduce those down a little bit but I'm gonna leave them like that so that everyone can understand what's going on because once you make the changes that's what's going to show up although in the beginning parts of the video it shows you what's going on anyway but this is just kind of good reinforcements of that I have no issues with it whatsoever may actually help out so that's that we go from things to that now let us move this out over here and I want to add a beginning so let's go to effects let's go to titles let's go to essential titles I really like this one right here so we'll bring it down put it right here and then we're gonna reduce it down to about right there that's probably still too long we're gonna say uh, Da Vinci resolve and we'll come down here and we'll change this to K and L Productions. And then we'll look at that. It looks all right. I'm okay with that. But maybe I want to maybe i want to in here put corner in name I can't think of what I want, so we'll go with corner corner pinning. So that looks cool. Let's go over here and close this, and we'll play it. See what I like, if I dislike. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I don't know if I want to make that brighter or not. Let's see if I can make that brighter. So this is makes it not brighter. We don't want that. What does this do? This makes it. Got to grab the arrow. That makes it brighter. So let's go with about right there, maybe, and see what that looks like if we play this all the way through. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That looks pretty good, except I do want the K and L to maybe be a little bit more predominant as well. And let's change the color to not blue. And clearly not green not yellow orange seems to be the I like the brighter orange I guess um, I don't know I'm gonna leave it like it is right now it could be a little bit different but I'm fine with it um, I'm not gonna change the the font or the size or anything so that's good that that's cool so now I want to add some music I want to add an opening thing so we're gonna go over to the media pool we're going to open up the master and we're going to go to soundtracks and I got all of these soundtracks to use. Um, why that picture's in there, I don't know. So I'm going to go with uh, New Orleans Crawfish and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put a cut right about That's too far. I want my cut about right there. And then we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to play it. A little loud. I'm going to have to change it. And then I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need it. So to change it, you can grab the line. I think that lowers it. I think that's going to be too low. Yeah, that's too low. So I'm going to grab it up here and bring it back to about right there. 
or I can click on this, go to the inspector, go to audio, and I can change it up here. But I, I like that right there. I'm actually experimenting with adding points to loud, quiet, loud, cloud, like whatever. So I'm going to fade this in a little bit, and I'm going to fade it out a lot bit. So now we're going to play this through. And there we go. I like that. That's cool. That's how I do that. Now I've got what I want. So I can now come in here, go back to titles, grab me a text right here, put this in here, bring this down to here, go into here. While I'm here, I know I'm going to need, no, I don't. I'm going to do this a different way. So now in here, I'm going to put a title of non-working laptop and then i'm going to come over here i'm going to move this i want it center it so i'm going to click on my down arrow go to fusion overlay and then i'm going to grab it right here i'm just going to put this like dead center right there and then i'm going to turn the overlay off and that's good i like that now i'm going to with this highlighted, I'm going to press Alt and grab it, and I'm going to drag it over here to here. With it highlighted, I'm going to press Alt and drag it over here. Now it's going to say non-working laptop. Okay, that's not a problem. We're going to highlight it, and we're going to change this to whatever we want. In this case, it's going to be um, two still photos. Again, I'm going to use my... Fusion by turning the fusion on. I'm going to grab the fusion. I'm going to bring it down here and I'm going to put it about right in there. But I don't like the white color and it's a little too big. So, what I want to do is turn fusion off. I want to change it to vertical. Then I'm going to turn fusion back on and I'm going to bring it right over here to the center like this I'm going to turn fusion off I'm going to come up here to the size and I'm going to bring it down and I'm a, I'm I'm happy with that but now I got to move it up using fusion again we're going to bring it up to here turn fusion off and I think I'm going to make the size a little bit bigger all right like that and then fusion on put it right about there fusion off i'm going to track it out just a little bit right here with the tracker like this that looks all right and i'm going to change the color i still i'm not happy with the color so i'm going to change the color to just plain old good old-fashioned black that looks good so that's that so I'm going to jump over here to this one. And again, we know it's non-working laptops. So we're going to go into here. And this one's going to be interesting. We're going to call this one for monitors. I'm going to grab the fusion tab. I'm going to bring it straight up right here straight down I'm not sure on this one we're gonna go right there turn off the fusion tab go over here to the size we're just gonna make it a little bit bigger change the color I don't think black's gonna work Yeah, black worked better than I thought it would I'm gonna go with okay I'm gonna track it out just a little bit like that grab the fusion bar and move it centered and there we go now if i wanted to i could go in here to this photo and i could crop this down like that to get rid of the the ugliness of the lines if i wanted to i don't think i'm going to i could i could do the same thing with the bottom i could crop it up but then when you start doing that you get into that problem so i'm gonna leave it as is I'm not going to change the font. I'm not going to change anything but the color. 
Then I want to hold this, Alt key, grab it, put it at the end, and I want to reduce it. I don't need it near that length, so I'm going to go right there. Uh, go back to my, I don't think I have, well, let's see if I do. So I'm going to go back into here, go into text, and I have some text already saved. Um, let's go with this one. I don't know what it is for sure, but let's go with it and see what it might be. Oh, no, I don't want that one. So what I want to do is move my screen over here. Um, okay, that's not good. What happened? Okay, we're good. We're temporarily getting con getting concerned here. So I don't want this one. Let's grab this one. I don't want that one. Um, <coughs> I don't want those two. Let's see what this one is. There we go. I could, this is one I want. So I want this one, and I think I want this one right here. Yep, there we go. So now I'll close this, and I'll go back over to my where I'm at. I'll bring this down to where I can see the whole thing. Put that there. Put this here. Put this here. And... Even though I've used it already, we're going to close this. We're going to open that. We're going to bring this picture down. This is kind of becoming my go-to ending picture. And we're going to put it right there. And we're going to extend the music out a little bit. Well, actually, as far as I can, to there. We're going to play it from here. Actually, we'll play it from here. So, that's cool. The four monitors, and I may reduce that down from three sec or five seconds to three seconds. A little long. In fact, I know I will. Shrinking this up a little bit. And then we get into here. Music is good. Text is horrible. Because you can't see it. Why can't you see it? Why can't you see that text? Bueller. Bueller. Well, you can't see the text because the text is black on black. So we're going to change the color to yellow. And just like that, there it is. Now, I think I want that to play at the same time. So I had to put it on top of it. If I put it over here, it's going to play afterwards. And I do like them showing at the same time. I really do. So I'm going to hit spacebar for play. And now I don't necessarily need this to play on as long as it is. So I'm going to bring this back to about there. And I'm going to bring this back to about there. Go back here and hit play. And if I wanted to, I could come in here and grab our picture and fade it out about the same amount. One more time, we hit play. And just like that, we have a tutorial on taking a plain picture and adding something to it, taking the plain pictures adding something to it, taking four monitors, adding something to it, and the ending. This is how I do a lot of my stuff. I'm pretty much sticking with this and the music. I like that. Then the body or the, the you know, the instructional or whatever. And then the ending, I really do like that as well. Now I could, I guess, maybe try to throw our picture in there, but no big deal. I am going to add one more thing to this. And I'm not going to show that one more thing. 
Well, you know what? Maybe I won't. I was going to add something cute in here, but I decided maybe I won't. And this is a horrible job of editing. You can see the green screen behind it, and I know i got to go clean it up. So I want to thank everyone. I want to thank, I seriously want to thank the person and persons, there was more than one, that actually said, I wonder how this is done. Well, this is how this is done. Um and of course, I'm referring to our good friend and technician and fellow Zoom homie, uh, Doug Betts. He does this all the time on his his uh, trailers. And this is how it's basically done. Now, the question was asked, does he do it all on a hey gen or what? My speculation is he does it in his editing program, then puts it in hey gen, then downloads it, and then he runs it as a trailer. That's strictly speculation on my part. I have not tested it yet. I can't do trailers, so the thought of trailers, while it intrigues me, it's just not on the top of my list right now. Um, I mean, basically, I could make my own trailers if I wanted to, but I, as we all know, Ken the Stout is not that talented yet. Did I really say yet? Oh, my gosh. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to watch Ken Stout Live every night, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, except for August 4th and August 9th. It will be later because Mrs. K and I are going to attend a rock concert at the State Fair. And we will we will not be home by 9 o'clock. Thank you. Have a great night. The last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to render this out right here. If I go into the render tab, uh, think of a name. And this will be called Four Corner Tutorial. And I'm going to put this somewhere. I don't know where yet. Obviously on my D drive. Obviously in DaVinci. It will be in completed projects. I don't think I have. I may have a tutorial. I don't really know. Uh, I do. I have one called tutorial. So I'm going to put it in tutorials. Because after all it's a tutorial. We're going to save it. We're going to change it to MP4. Don't have to. I just do things the same way every single time. Add it to the render queue. Hit render. And it says it will render in 39 seconds. So today my computer is working really good. I'm very happy about that. And now I can upload this, I think, and be good to go. I'll know in just a second. I'll know in about 43 seconds. I'm going to jump from 39 to 43. So there you have it. I'm really looking forward to getting the computer from Sean Gallagher next month. It will strictly be used for DaVinci and DaVinci only. And we'll see if there's a, a noticeable increase in things, as in no lagging on the render, no shutting down on the production, no problems at all, no killing the GPU. There's just all kinds of things that need to be addressed. And I'm really hoping and I'm really appreciative of the fact that Sean built this out of the kindness of his own heart without me asking him i'm very honored and flattered that he's doing this for me and like i told him last night he better not ship me a tractor because i don't need a tractor thanks for watching i'll see everybody on the nightly show have a great night or afternoon or morning or shut up ken mm -hmm.